morning, thousands of people will be racing for the cure. Yeah, it's always a big event, so we asked Kim St. Ange to tell us the top four race tips. Well, this is a huge event, one that we are very proud of to be a part of at KCCI. Very moving for survivors, patients, and their families. And the money really does support a great cause, breast cancer research and mammograms. So we should tell you first that the race is tomorrow, October 4th at 9 a.m., beginning at the state capitol grounds. Okay, so tip number one, if you haven't yet registered, you still can do so at Packet Pickup today at Merle Hay Mall or tomorrow morning at the capitol before the race. Tip two, don't worry about parking. Shuttle buses will take you to and from the race. You just want to park your car at the Center Street Park and Ride or at the garage at 4th and Locust. Those buses start at 7 a.m. And tip three, the race is at 9 o'clock, like we mentioned, but there are lots of activities planned beforehand. A survivor breakfast at 7, a survivor photo at 8.15, a warm-up at 8.30, and an award ceremony and also a post-race celebration to follow. And tip number four, you want to make sure to bundle up. That's important. It's going to be pretty cold tomorrow at race time. And Curtis, I'm thinking people might have to whip out their winter jackets this time. Yeah, maybe pink thermals, whatever's going to work. I'll tell you what, it is going to be cold, but if you remember, last year was also very cold for Race for the Cure, so whatever worked for you last year will work for you this year. 36 degrees when the race gets started, wind chills in the 20s, mostly sunny, northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. Going to be a breezy morning, but uh, don't let it affect the event. Uh, me and Eric Hansen are going to be out there emceeing. It's going to be a, a great day to get out and support a wonderful cause.